We caught up with the pros ahead of the Ironman World Championships in St. George and asked them some not so serious questions. Without giving anything away, we got some interesting answers. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> Just <laughs> flings its poo <laughs> Who do you think is going to be the athlete of the year in triathlon, both male or and female? On the female side, it's definitely going to be Kat Matthews. Uh, I have no doubts. <laughs> might be over there. <laughs> And on the men's side, uh, I would say whoever wins this race because it requires a really strong athlete to win it. So, might be Christian Blumenfeld. Yeah. Leon Chevalier. Yeah. yeah. What about the women? And the women, uh, oof. I kind of want it to be someone we've not really hyped up before. Kind of like me, I, I, but I don't know. I can't. I can't really say. It's so early in the season. We don't really know. Probably Cat Matthews. Oh yeah, you heard it, chef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously me for the women. That's a quick answer. I didn't have to. I didn't have to think about long about that one. And the men. Poor. Uh, this is. I guess it's a hard pick because I don't. The race dynamics and people are not hit at this race that maybe will contend at Kona. Um, yeah, I'll just say Leon because he's sharing a room here and I'll be disappointed if he doesn't do well. Well, well I, I don't know. <laughs> Again, the modesty, he's struggling. <laughs> well, it, like we have a double world championship, so I think the one who wins, uh, male or female, is able to win both, will be the athlete of the year. So, Absolutely. but you're going to tell us who that's going to be? Uh, I would love to be that guy, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope to be. I mean, I'm off to a decent start with a win in Texas. If I can back it up here on the weekend and then get a good one in Kona, um, you know, I'd, I'd definitely put myself up there. I think my buddy Sebastian Kima, you know, he's kind of on one of his final serious years here too, and I think he could have a great race here and, and probably in Kona as well. Like, he's always been top 10 there. Um, but yeah, there's so many guys, you know, it's crazy how, how this young generation is really pushing the, the level up. And uh, yeah, but the old guys have something to say before we're done too. Uh, I, for one, am rooting for the old guys with you. You and, you and Sebi, yeah, rooting for the old guys this season. Go for it. I'm gonna go Cat Matthews. Yeah. Strong, killer. strong call. Yeah, I mean, she's already started off with a, a win, so she's uh, already got one up on everyone else. <laughs> she's in the lead. It's early in the race, but she's uh, she is a, a good length ahead of most of the ladies out there. I'll go with myself. Got to back yourself always, right? Got to back yourself, absolutely. Um, now, going a bit left field, if you were an animal, what would you be and why? Oh, uh, animal. Something that could swim and run. Oh, actually, hippopotamus is actually meant to be really fast. So, and they're really fast at swimming. So maybe I'll be one of them. And um, if you watch, what is it? Watch film is uh, Madagascar. The hippo in Madagascar is quite good. Oh, I like that. You thought you thought about that one. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Most people are probably like gazelles or something. I'm like, yeah, round hippo that <laughs> just <laughs> flings its poo. <laughs> I would like to be a uh, leopard or what is it? Leo yeah, leopard. Yeah, leopard. Yeah. Uh, just seems like a lot of fun running 100 kilometers power. Yeah. I've answered this before, and I think a raven for some reason because. Uh, I don't know, I find them quite cool. Apparently they're really smart too. Oh, I'd probably be like a goat or something, you know, like just like bopping around. You know, like you know, like one of those goats that just like parkour goats, I think you call them. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you know, parkour goats. Jumping on tables and stuff. But, but I've seen those goats and if you run at them really fast, they just startle and fall over sideways. That when you, yeah, it's probably the same with me yeah. too. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> I won't run at you, I won't, get, I won't surprise you too much then. Which triathlete or triathletes on social media annoy you the most? Oh gosh. This can also be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo 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 gets pretty annoying. <laughs> because for every time people have to hear it, I just have to say it like three takes to get it right. So I'll go with myself. <laughs> yo yo yo. <laughs> you can you can <laughs> we're in America. <laughs> go, go skipper, eh? No, no, no. no. no I'm just we, yeah, I, th I think it's just dogs. it's just it's just cool cool to see like people actually kind of posting things and uh, uh, kind of uh, being active and posing videos and kind of Keeping the fun, not the sport, more fun, and uh, it's also easier to kind of get to know your competitors. So it's not actually anyone I'm annoyed about, okay, I would say. But you, you actually enjoy it. So can you give us a junkyard dog then? A, a proper one? Yeah, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, listen to that, Joe. You owe me. 
<laughs> Annoy me the most. Oh. You can plead the fifth on this one. <laughs> Probably plead the fifth. I like having friends. <laughs> We're in America, you're allowed to plead the fifth. <laughs> if you had to do a whole race on one or the other and nothing else, would you choose beer all day or wine all day? Beer, absolutely beer, yeah. Got the carbs in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and fluid, at least you're hydrating some. Yeah. Cider. <laughs> you're not from the West Country. Well, pretty much now. <laughs> I thought you'd be wine, you know, with your heritage. Oh, no, 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 I don't really drink wine. No, cider all the way. Not much of a beer or wine, maybe a cider. <laughs> what is it with these West Country answers? <laughs> Leon had the same. Yeah. <laughs> cider, yeah, well, we are from the West Country in Cornwall and it's a little bit better than, yeah. I haven't got into a real ale. I know that there are some good brewing houses around here, but I've not kind of found my tipple yet. Like an alcohol-free beer. I think that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good answer. I don't really drink any alcohol, so uh, yeah, some alcohol beer. It's a lot of carbs. Uh, beer. Uh, I tend not to get hangover from beer, so uh, and with wine is yeah very bad. So uh, beer. Wine hate beer so much. Oh well, yeah, probably beer. To be honest, wine makes me uh, makes makes me pretty happy. So I think I wouldn't be finishing the race. I'd be dancing somewhere on the. <laughs> There's a few carbs in beer too. So. Yeah, exactly. It's an all-round beverage of choice. Yeah, exactly. If you had to choose, super windy but no heat, or super hot but no wind, which would you prefer? Easily, super hot because, yeah, the, the, that's kind of the thing that the worries me about this course is that they. It can be quite windy, like in, especially in the downhill from the top of uh, Snow Canyon and back down to downtown. Uh, I ha might have not been riding enough in windy conditions. <laughs> so uh, if I can swap out the wind with the heat, yeah, 10 out of 10 days. Really windy and mild, yeah. How about both? Oh, yeah, well that's going to make it super tough, yeah. But if you had to choose just one, would you rather it was super windy uh, and not hot at all, or would you rather it was super hot and not windy at all? I, I take the super windy. I think that favor, favors me the most, yeah. Oh, Mama said you can have both. You can have your cake and eat it as well. Uh, yeah. Everyone says that for this race because they want to sound really tough. Yeah. But you've got to give me an answer. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't. I'm not that tough. <laughs> really windy, nice temperature. I think mentally I can cope with that better. And it'll be more enjoyable than just everybody blowing up on the run and having to go really slow because it's hot. As always, some interesting insight into how the pros think. If this made you smile or even brought out a little chuckle, then give us a like and remember to subscribe.